Well, today's kind of one of them days. Maybe a little sad. Maybe a little bit of happiness. Our little 480 case backhoe that you see in a lot of our videos when we're out digging graves and stuff. That been around the family a long time. It's probably been in our family for maybe 34 years or so. The machine is probably 47 years old. So it ain't no chicken spring anymore. We got a guy that, well, we bought a new mini hoe for digging out in the cemetery. Here's the machine. Cooper was going to load it up. He was kind of servicing it, greasing it up and stuff. He's going to put it on the trailer and bring it over to Coles and put it in the machine shed. But anyhow, it sounds like we got a guy today that's coming to look at it. He may be buying it. I don't know. He made us an offer. So if he likes the machine, it's going to go to a new home the first machine i've actually started digging with and stuff and always dug with it out the cemetery and it kind of has a lot of memories to me like you've seen the video where it slid down and hit a tree once when i was digging cracked the windshield and stuff we had to chain it to a tree one time when we were out digging a grave there was just enough frost it kept pulling me all over i'm gonna miss this little bugger who am i fooling man i tell you what when you get in that little mini hoe it's just so nice it's got a long reach and oh air conditioning stereo in there comfortable seat and it just makes the grave digging so much nicer so i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna miss this thing we needed to get something a little better out there in the cemetery probably 10 years ago or so but this did its job. It really doesn't owe us anything. And I hope the next person, if the guy takes it or whatever, I hope it does him many, 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 many years too of good use. The only thing, and we will tell the guy about it. And you know, when you're showing stuff, you might as well be honest what's wrong. Or if you know there's a, something that's just not right, let the people know. Let them make the decisions and this is one of the things for some reason our button inside the cab sometimes works to start it. Sometimes you have to come out and hit the old starter and make it start this way. So we think it's the key switch. We're not 100% sure but I do got the new key and everything in there. Let's get her started and run it up to the shed so we'll be ready to show. But it always starts so easy. She really sounds nice. One thing with this machine. It's never really gone far down the road driving it. You can see the tires. I think we put tires on it back in 1998, if I remember right. We always usually put it on the trailer when we're taking it to the cemetery and stuff. So we, well enough, blabber, chabber, chabber, jubaha, let's get her up and we got other things to work on. It's like this backo. Dug with it for many, many years. My uncle dug with it for many, many years out of the cemetery. Cemetery business, we've done this for in the family for over 66 years. So we take good pride in that. And I guess just you guys can kind of tell we're the type that when we get something and it's running good, we just keep running it. And that's part of the thing with the cemetery. You know, more money we put in stuff out there, it takes more to pay for it. We're trying to keep our grave digging costs down to be fair to the people. All right, let's let it sit here so when these people come, they'll be like drooling. They'll like, we'll even give you more money than we offered. But like I said, a lot of times when we're showing stuff, people can tell what a piece of equipment is and just be honest with it. Yeah, we would never had a problem with this thing in daily life. You know, it's kind of like when you ask them, oh man, if I fell out, oh yeah. Hey, you're looking at a piece of equipment. Does it use a, oh no, I never used a drop of oil. How's the clutch? Is the clutch good? Oh yeah, never, never slipped. Oh, does it, does it smoke or anything ever? No, 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 it's a it thing, it, it's, piece, it, it's the best thing. And then you buy it and you're, get it home and you go to do things and what they said the air conditioning worked and then you find out it worked for 10 years that's when you kind of turn your head so here we just be honest about it and what it is is what it is daddy corn star what are we up to now can't we just stay home and get some work done sometimes i agree with that but that is one good thing with uh the boys and everybody living so close together Seems like we do. We get to one place and then sometimes we jump to another place. But today, 
gonna meet a group of people over at Cole's real quick and kind of fill you in when we get over there what we're doing. It's Whoa, people, there's a lot of people over here. You know, we have the bin set up. We're here to show it. We want people to see it. We got all kinds of people here. This is a rough looking group. We thought we were here to record you. What's yeah, but here? you're wrong. You're wrong. I was like, I'm under pressure now. Getting interviewed. So have you ever been on America's Most I Wanted? I not. I hope not. Not that I'm aware of. You want to be on it? Sure. She's gonna embezzle some money from the bank. Oh, How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, you ever been on America's Most Wanted? Uh, not arrested? to my knowledge, not to my knowledge. Arrested, no. Oh, man, <laughs> I was hoping I'd get him cornered for something. Well, anyhow, I gotta sh shut this thing down. I guess they're wanting to, I don't know, they're trying to make some posters or something of me. Well, that was a lot of fun meeting that whole group of people and they're doing some videoing and stuff and wanted to get some videos of some stuff on the farm and it's a whole long story of what they were doing, but it's a uh, whole group from our bank and everything. What I'm doing today is trying to get the Hagee sprayer ready, same as yesterday. Hey, come on, lights. I like these lights. These are the lights. Whoa, there we go. Oh, long story short, too. We had a gentleman come down today, look at the case backo. He's wanting to put it out where a cabin is, I guess. Has some work to do. Wasn't quite the size he wants. He's got trees to dig out and different things. So he was, I think, hoping for a little bigger machine. And that's okay. I know he apologized a few times. Hey guys, I'm sorry for wasting your time to come down and look at it. But like I told him, when you're looking at something to buy, you have the right. You want to look it over. You want to check things out. And if it isn't quite what you need or want, it's okay to say, hey, I'm sorry guys, but this isn't what I'm looking for. Otherwise, every time we went to look at something, we'd be stuck with what we looked at first. So, very, very nice guy and just wanted him to know there was no hard feelings. You have the right to say no when you're looking at stuff. And I've done it before too, gone somewhere and it's like, hey, it just ain't quite what I'm looking for. And that's okay. We need to take Mr. Thunder Creek here and we're gonna open that compartment there we need to take diesel fuel we're going to put some fuel in this machine here thank you for the ride of starting the machine up show you how nice this thunder creek is if you guys are looking for really nice fuel trailers get a hold of these guys they'll set you up that's where this trailer come from You don't rub the engine up too fast because I figured what's it gonna gain me a whole two minutes I'm not in a big hurry to hope that ain't running out of fuel we're basically done with the sprayer for the year so I'm not gonna fill it plumb full of fuel but this sprayer is gonna be going to the farm progress show so I don't really want to run out of diesel fuel at the show I don't know how much running around they'll be doing with it most of the time it'll be at the Titan lot a little bit of fuel in it 20 gallons maybe There we go guys. 